about this Trevorium Travel VIP Private Club Trevorium Business Lee. So if you could please tell us a little bit. There's a brand new people here. Uh, style went away. I retired at 52. And uh, a couple of years later, I was bored out of my mind. I needed something to do. I sold my company and I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I needed to do something. And it was just a fluke. OK, I was at Bank of America in Temecula, uh, Temecula, California, which is where our corporate offices are, are right there in Temecula, California. And I ran into a guy at the bank. And have you guys ever had that aha moment? You were going to do something, but you changed lanes real quick and did something else and it changed everything. Well, I was in line. I was the next person to go. It was a Friday afternoon. You can imagine how busy banks are on a Friday afternoon. And I turned around and there was a guy that I had known for quite some time. We weren't best friends, but if we walked past each other, we'd say hi. If he was in a restaurant, I'd, st I'd make a point of going over and say hi to him and his family. And he was six people behind me. And I decided to go back and let six people go in front of me. And we got in his conversation. He asked what I was doing at the bank. And I told him, and this is the truth. Well, my wife and I are leaving to go on vacation tomorrow. And I'm just in the bank getting some cash. And he said, really, where are you going? So I told him where I was going. And he said, you know what? When you get back, I want to sit down and I want to buy you lunch. I want to tell you about a travel company that I recently was introduced to, and it's absolutely incredible. So I said, okay, great. I didn't think anything about it. But my wife and I left for New York. We jumped on a cruise ship a few days later. And I'm thinking to myself, why is this guy doing this? Some of you might have heard his name mentioned on a couple of training. His name is Andy Lakey. Unfortunately, he has passed away since then. But Andy lived in the same town I did. Now, the way I lived and the way he lived was he was at 10 and I was at 7. So he lived a whole different lifestyle than I did. And at that time, Andy was very, a very famous international painter. Okay, He uh, had an accident, came out of a coma, and developed this painting uh, opportunity that he had never painted before. And he actually started painting for the blind community. And what I mean by that was his, his paintings were three-dimensional. So the blind community could feel the painting, okay? So the whole time I was on vacation, I'm thinking to myself, why is, why is this guy doing this travel thing? Because I figured it was network marketing uh, because Andy was a multimillionaire. And I'm thinking, why is he doing this? Well, when I got back, had lunch with him, I found out why. I loved the travel industry. I was with that company till just recently for over 15 years. I don't move around a lot. I'm very, very uh, critical on who I do business with. Um, so when I was introduced to Trevorium, it was it was a five minute uh, decision. It didn't take me long at all to make the decision to leave a company that I've been with for 15 years and was making a lot of money there. But I knew that this company was better. And I knew the way they treated their people was better. I was on a lot of phone calls. Uh, I'm a personal friend to Dave Hart, the owner of the company. I've known Dave Hart for almost 25 years. Todd Strand, the top income earner in the company. I've, I've, I've been a friend of, of Todd's for almost 25 years. The other big leader in the company, Daryl Roberts. I've known Daryl for over 20 years. So I know the people that are involved with this. <clears throat> Company's been around for 12 years. We started off as a company that had a little bit of travel and a lot of coupon savings. So four months before the pandemic that caused so many companies to go out of business, so many people to lose their jobs, everything went upside down, right? It just happened. Yes. Our company almost doubled in size and we expanded into over 60 countries in the first two years of the pandemic. A travel company, when nobody was traveling, over uh, more than doubled in size and expanded into 60 foreign countries. We're still trying to figure out how it happened, but it did, okay? So we've taken on the Netflix model of membership, okay? So we are a membership travel company. So what happened when Netflix uh, was created? Well, Netflix 
absolutely reinvented the way that we watch videos. Okay. We no longer needed to go to the video stores to get our videos. We no longer needed to get off our couch to go get the videos. We didn't have to go back and return the videos. Did you know something? The Blockbuster video chain made just as much money on late fees as they did renting videos. Is that amazing? They made more, almost as much money on late fees. So we took that model, created a travel company that has a membership opportunity with it, okay? So people buy our memberships and we have a small, medium and large. The most expensive um, way to get started with this won't cost you um, much more than 350 bucks. We're sort of reinventing the travel industry with our company. In fact, Dave was at a, a meeting with the Hyatt Corporation over a year ago because we do have quite a few Hyatt locations in our portfolio. And Hyatt wanted to know, what is it that you guys are doing? What makes you guys so special? So when Dave went to the Hyatt Corporation and laid everything out, they were blown away by what our company does. In fact, they told Dave that they were surprised that nobody else has ever thought about this before and ex is expecting us to be the largest privately held travel company on the planet in the next five to 10 years. That says something. That means you're on the right track when other people are going, wow, look what you guys have done. How are you doing this? How'd you come up with the idea? This is unbelievable. And so here we are. So our memberships give people the opportunity to buy travel at the cost price, okay? And I'll give you an example. The video will that you receive will tell you a, a little bit about this. There's actually a four-minute video that you can watch that's dedicated just to this concept. Uh, a few years ago, NBC News in, in Southern California did an expose on the travel industry. And they exposed the fact that most people are shopping online for travel and they're price shopping at all these different websites. Guaranteed you, if you're not in our company, you've done it. You've gone to Travago, you've gone to Expedia, Orbitz, Priceline, uh, Kayak, Travelocity, Hotels.com, Hotels.com this, Hotels.com that, tra um, Travago. I mean, they're just everywhere. But what you don't know is that Expedia and Priceline own all of them. So when you're price shopping, thinking you're getting the, a, a really great deal, you're not. You're paying retail prices. So here's the first thing that Dave did. He found a way to buy the travel inventory from the same companies that Expedia and Priceline buy their travel inventory from. And I say travel inventory because if you think about this, those two companies, they don't own a hotel. They don't own, run a, don't own a rental car company. They don't have a, uh, a cruise line. They don't have anything. They are the middleman. That's how network marketing works, is taking away the middle person and allowing you to buy the product at directly from the manufacturer. So what Dave did is he buys the product at the same price those two companies do, and he lets us purchase it at his cost. Okay, let me repeat that. We pay the same price that the company pays. We do not make money selling travel. First concept, unbelievable, never been done before. Nobody is doing this on the planet. We are it, okay? So when you book travel from us, you're paying whatever the company pays for it. That is the cost of the travel. I'll give you a couple of examples, okay? A friend of mine, Todd Strand, his daughter-in-law, uh, or uh, is it daughter? I think their daughter, yeah, got married this last, last June, and they wanted to go on their honeymoon and stay down in the Maldives. They wanted to stay in one of those all-inclusive resorts where the huts are over the water and all the sporting events are all included and everything. Well, they went on to um, a couple of websites, Kayak, uh, or not Kayak, um, Expedia, Orbitz, and Priceline. And their price was within $100 at all three places. For the week they wanted to go, for the things they wanted to do, it was going to cost them just over $10,000, okay? They went on to their own travel site with Travorium, okay? The same travel site that some of us on this call tonight have. 
The price was $6,000. Those three companies bought the product for $6,000 and marked it up over $4,000. And they're selling that property like they're hotcakes, okay? Everybody's going there. They're always booked up, okay? Well, transfer that into everything else, okay? What about the hotels out at the airport? What about the rental car companies? What about the cruise lines, okay? Everybody thinks that, that travel agents made a lot of money being a travel agent. They didn't. They still don't, okay? I'll give you the best scenario. A travel agent booking a cruise, which is the best way to make money in the travel industry, the cruise lines pay 15% commission, okay? So on a $1,000 cruise, what's 15%? 150 bucks, right? That's what the travel agency makes. The travel agent typically makes between uh, 50 and 75% of that. So the travel agents aren't making really any money, okay? The average travel agent at that time made about $40,000 a year, working 40 to 50 hours a week. Not much money for all the effort that they did. So what we do is we allow you to book your own travel, which everybody's doing anyway. You just get to book your travel for less. So would it make sense if you were going to book a cruise anyways, and you were going to spend $1,000 anyways, and you got the travel agency's price, which would be 15% off, that's what we buy the cruise for. And that's what we let you buy it for. And check this out. Sometimes we even have free, free travel for you. Okay. And I say the word sometimes. It's pretty much all the time. So there we go. So we started this company buying travel at rock bottom prices. Okay. And then we threw the membership into play. And then we give people the opportunity to share the idea with other people. Notice I use the word share, okay? I've never felt like I sold this to anybody, okay? So it's all about a mindset, okay? So when I'm talking to somebody about our memberships, I'm thinking one thing, one thing only. I can save them money on their next vacation. That's how I think, okay? I don't think, well, who can I sell this to? Who can I help save thousands of dollars on their next vacations? Who can I show them a way to make extra money? Did you know that over 80% of the people in the United States, after working 20 years at their job, don't even have $4,000 in the bank? After 20 years, okay? With a home-based business, typically the tax savings with a home-based business will generate that much. So here we go again, travel membership, vacations, discounts on vacations, the ability to show other people how our business works, why it works, and the most important thing, how is it going to benefit their family? Did you know that the number one thing posted on um, Facebook, the largest uh, social media platform on the planet is travel? I'll go even farther than that. Did you know that the number one question that's asked on, on um, Google, the largest search engine on the planet, is how can I make extra money from home? So when you take that question, how can I make money extra money from home? You take the number one thing that's posted on the internet, travel, and you put those two together. That's what our company does is we show people how to travel for less. We give them the opportunity, if they want to, you don't have to, that you can actually make a pretty significant income with us in your spare time, okay? This is my spare time tonight. Here was my day today, and it was pretty busy. I sent out about 250 text messages, okay? I answered three phone calls today from people on my team, and I did this. Um, I, I use a lead company that provides me information from people that have gone on the internet and have entered, how can I make extra money from home? That's where I get most of my people from, okay? Are from leads of people that are looking for a way to change their financial future. So I meet this couple over the phone. I just send them out a text message. My text message has about I don't know, four or five quest, uh, uh, sentences on it. So it's not, you know, a, a five minute read or anything. 
And I get on the phone with them. And one of the big questions I ask is, what is it you're trying to accomplish by making more money? Because they know it's a home business opportunity. So it's not working from home, a job or anything. And their answer was, well, the guy did most of the talking. He said, my wife works a part-time job, but we have two kids. And it seems like we're spending all of our money on daycare of the money that she makes. But he said, but she makes an extra three or $400 a month on top of that. And it does help. And so I said, well, what if I could show you a way to make that extra three or $400 and your wife could stay home from work? And he said, and they got excited. So I sent him a couple of videos and I followed up with them a few days later, the entire conversation and the excitement went away. And he said, well, we've talked about this and I just don't think this is going to be a fit for us. And I said, really? He said, so let me ask you a question. I, I always love feedback. Why did we go from being excited and bringing um, Carol, I, I think her name's Carol, and bringing Carol home from work, what changed? Because you were excited about the opportunity to bring Carol home from work so she could be a full-time mom. Well, you know, we looked at all the videos. We, we really liked it, and and uh, but we talked to a few people, and, you know, um, they, they said a lot of things about the industry and i just don't think it's a fit for us and i said really so you took the advice of somebody that knew nothing about our company and you took their advice over my advice and he said well sort of and i said well let me ask you a question a better question did they give you any information that would make you that would give you the opportunity to create another four three or $400 a month so that Carol could stay home with the kids. And, I, and he said, no. I said, then why are you listening to what those people are saying? I said, I'm showing you a way that you can go on vacations, which is what you guys said you wanted to do. In fact, one of the, the hot spots was you wanted to take the kids to Disney World. The other thing was that you've always wanted to go to Hawaii. So you let somebody that knew nothing about our company, nothing about our industry, take those two things away from you and didn't give you the opportunity to bring Carol home from work. And he said, okay, how do we get started? That was it. Stories like that happen all the time, all the time. Okay. One of our big stories is for, for you guys. Okay. Um, does anybody have uh, kids? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anybody yeah. have grandkids? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So here's the grandkid story. There's a gal in our company. Her name is, is um, uh, Deborah Taylor. Her real name is Pastor Deborah Taylor. Okay. She and her husband, Guy, started with our company just to save money on travel. That's what they wanted to do. They looked at this from the travel member perspective, which is fine. People sign up for just the travel membership all the time. Never want to talk to anybody, okay? Want to just keep it as a membership for themselves personally. Well, Guy and Deborah come into the business and Deborah bought a membership and they went through and researched it and everything. And then they found out that Guy could buy a membership. So Guy bought a membership also. Well, you might be asking yourself, why would they buy two memberships? It's really easy. More, more discounts on travel. And remember I told you there's free vacations? Well, you get two a year. Your first year, you actually get three. But from then on, you get two. Well, they wanted to go get the free vacation. So at that time, we were getting three vacations a year. Okay. And what happened was they started going on a vacation every other month. And guess what happened? Their family and friends are going, how are you guys going on these vacations? We know how much money you make. It ain't much. We know what kind of cars you drive. We know where you live. How are you doing this? And all of a sudden, other people wanted to buy a membership from them. So fast forward a few years. Just over two years ago, Guy's business was generating just over $2,000. Deborah's business was generating over uh, $3,500, if I remember the story correctly. Okay. And unfortunately, Guy passed away. 
But guess what didn't pass away? His income. Because um, Guy had built a team of other travel membership people. They weren't going to cancel their membership because Guy passed away. They weren't going to stop talking to people because they were making money in their spare time. Remember, over two years ago, Guy's making just over $2,000. Right now, Guy's business is making over $150,000 a year, and he's been dead for over two years. We have the third type of income. There's three ways to make money on the, in the world. Linear income. Linear income is trading time for dollars, selling a product, getting paid. That's linear income. Then you have leveraged income. Leveraged income is like a broker in a real estate firm. They have the ability to sell a house, but they also make overrides or leveraged income off of the um, other realtors in the office. So when the when the broker sells a house, he gets paid. But when somebody else sells a house, they get paid also. Third way of making money, residual income. Now, I'm sure you guys know what it is, but it's amazing how many people don't know. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Elvis Presley. Everybody knows who Elvis Presley is, okay? He's been dead for over 50 years. Last year, his estate made more money than it did the last year he was alive. Michael Jackson, same exact thing, okay? Paul McCartney's not dead, but he creates residual income. You know what one of the most uh, popular uh, songs that's ever been written is? Yesterday. Paul wrote that over 50 years ago, and he's still getting paid for it. That's residual income. Here's another example. Jerry Seinfeld of the Seinfeld Comedy Show. That show hasn't been on in over 20 years, but he gets paid over $20 million a year because we watch reruns. Okay? That's residual income. And we have all three types of income. We have linear income, trading time for dollars, selling a product, getting paid. We have overrides, uh, building a team and getting overrides off of helping them. And then we have residual income. But probably the most excited thing I get excited about is the tax savings. I'm not a tax guy, never have been, never will be. But I've had a home-based business for over 20 years. And without a doubt, the tax savings are phenomenal. Okay. In fact, I say this jokingly, but I'm absolutely dead serious. It is impossible to lose money in our company. It is impossible to lose money in our company. If you're trying to make money in our company, you get all the tax benefits. I'm looking at, here's a sheet of paper right here. Look at it. There it is. Okay. That's the information that I sent to my tax guy this year. Let me tell you what I wrote off. Because I own a home-based business, okay? I'm going to do this two ways, before and after, okay? Before a home-based business, I drove my car. After a home-based business, I drive my car. I get to write my mileage off. Before, I couldn't have written off uh, $250.40 for an auto expense. Home-based business, now I can. Uh, in Virginia, where I live, we have um, um, oh, what's that? property taxes on our vehicle. So I had to pay for that. Got to write it off. DMV fees, got to write it off. Uh, another a set of car expenses, uh, over $1,000, got to write that off. Car insurance, got to write that off. Cell phone, wrote it off. Advertising, my website hosting fees. When we have a membership, okay, you can act uh, the membership fees for the platinum, which is what we always talk about because 95% of the people buy platinum memberships. The monthly fee is $135, but... If you can find three people in the entire city where you live, I'm just going to take a guess. You have 200,000 people in your city. You're looking for three that like to save money on travel, would like to look at a way to earn free vacations. And maybe some of them, remember, 75% of the people in the world or in the U.S. don't like their job. 80% of them don't have $4,000 in the bank after 20 years. Uh, cell phone, advertising, hosting fee, that 135 If you show three people, we eliminate it. You don't pay it anymore. I've never paid it. I signed up. I found three people in the first 30 days because it wasn't hard. I just talked to people and say, hey, I've stumbled into this travel company. I know you guys travel. Uh, would you be interested in seeing a video that could save you thousands of dollars on your next vacation? None of them said no. They all said yes. Okay. 
So I get to write off that $135 every month. Even though I don't pay for it, I still get to write it off legally and ethically, okay? Office supplies, two, oh, and the, uh, my hosting fees and advertising, that was almost $3,000 for the year. I wrote it off. Office supplies, uh, 200 and some odd dollars, wrote it off. Business, ex other business expenses, uh, $983, okay? Team recruiting fees, because uh, I buy leads, $966, wrote it off, okay? Travel expenses. I'm in the travel industry. If I go somewhere based on business, that's a tax deduction. So if I go to one of the, what we call a world tour, keep that in mind, world tour, write it down. We have over 300 of them around the world every year. They are pre-populated on certain dates that the corporation puts together for us. So we have the opportunity to go to those events. They typically throw in some type of a training, some type of a get together. So guess what? Now your vacation is tax deductible. Not just the vacation, but think of this guys. When you leave your house, you're going on a trip for business. Your mileage is tax deductible. Let's talk about mileage for a split second. IRS gives you 65 and a half cents a mile. 65 and a half cents a mile. Let's say that your car gets 20 miles to the gallon. Let's say that you buy gas for $8 a gallon, okay? And you drive 20 miles. That's $4 that you spent on gas. Does that make sense? Okay. But the 20 miles, you get to write off. And the IRS gives you back 65 and a half cents. What does that calculate out for 20 miles? $13, okay? Now I'm not a math major, but I think spending $4 in gas, but getting $13 back is a good thing, okay? So travel expenses. So you leave your house, you go to the airport. Mileage is tax deductible. Your parking is tax deductible. Your airfare is tax deductible. Any services that you have while you're on your vacation that has to do with business, such as taxi, Uber, back and forth to the hotel or the resort, wherever you're going, tax deductible. If you go out to dinner, tax deductible. If you go out to breakfast, tax deductible. If you go to the event and you have to pay uh, 100 bucks or something for the event, tax deductible. Okay, now let's go backwards. You leave, you use an Uber, tax deductible. Go to the airport, jump on a plane, tax deductible. Parking, tax deductible. Mileage back, tax deductible. That's why I say it's impossible to lose money in our company. So let's say you, you are the biggest failure that comes into our company. You are the worst possible person that could buy a membership. You don't tell anybody about it. You, you are now our secret agent. Nobody even knows who you are, but you're saving money on travel every time you go. The worst thing is you don't even go, you don't even travel. You don't use the travel website. You don't buy any concert tickets through us. You don't buy any movie tickets. You don't go to any sporting events. You don't go on a cruise. You don't rent a car. You don't, you don't do anything, but you go on the two free vacations you get every year. Does it make sense that if you got two free, free vacations every year, but you're spending money for your monthly fees, okay, which, oh, by the way, are still going to be tax deductible, okay, you're going to make money? It's sort of like you're almost prepaying for your vacation, but you're not. That's why I say it's impossible to lose money in our business. Now, I'm not saying that all these tax deductions that I talked about, which I love to death, are are real okay but here's a book you can buy this on amazon.com it's called lower your taxes big time okay this is written by a guy named sandy botkins okay who has actually written tax law he was a trainer for the irs auditors for years so i'm going to give you like five things here in the book okay here's chapter one and please don't take take this. I'm not a, I'm not insulting you. This uh, if you take it as an insult, it's Sandy Botkins insulting you. Okay, so chapter one is why you would be brain dead not to start a home based business if you don't ever ha already have one. Next one: how to turn your vacations into tax deductible write off. Okay, 
Chapter two, how to deduct your meals. Chapter four here. Uh, where's that? Okay. Uh, turn your car into a tax deductible gold mine. Chapter six, home office, the misunderstood key to savings, a minimum of $15,000 every five years. That's $3,000 a year. Remember I told you that you can, the average is $3,000 a, a year. Okay. Well, there it is just, just in, in uh, the home-based business deductions. Okay. You can also uh, make yourself audit proof. You can hire your kids. Okay. You know what? I missed something. Okay. And I'm going to, I can't believe I just, I, I just saw something in this tax book. I want to shift back to Deborah Taylor's story. Okay. So Deborah Taylor and Guy, remember the two, the two pastors. Okay. They're making X amount of dollars. Guy's business is now over $150,000. I asked you guys if you had grandkids. So here we go. Deborah took Guy's business that's generating over, a 50, uh, it went from $25,000 a year to over $150,000 a year in two years, okay? That's a pretty good return, okay? She took Guy's business and put it in a trust for their two granddaughters. Those two girls are multimillionaires now and they don't even know it. Why? Because one of them's seven and one of them's five. They don't even get the concept, okay? But they know grandpa did something. Do you think grandpa will be somebody that they remember for the rest of their lives? Because they are going to be wealthy beyond all expectations. Because if somebody took a chance on a, a business that they'd never heard of. So let's talk about what you're taking a chance on. And then I'm going to wrap this up. You're not taking a chance on the travel industry. Okay. It's an $8 trillion industry. It's not going away. So you're not taking a chance on the travel industry. You're not taking a chance on Trevorium on their memberships. We've been doing this for 12 years now. Okay. You're not taking a chance on us. I can't guarantee your success because I can't guarantee you'll do anything. And that's what it all comes down to. If you start with us and buy a membership, you now have the ability to be in business, okay? But our business is like every other business, okay? If you don't show up, you don't make money. It's sort of like your job if you have, excuse me, if you have one. If you don't sh show up, they'll let it go one day, two days, three days. After about the fourth day of you not showing up, guess what they're looking for? Your replacement. Here's what you're taking a chance on, guys. Yourself. That is the unknown equation to the whole thing. It's sort of like a triangle. There's travel, there's Trevorium, and there's you. The first two I know work. I just don't know if you're going to work or even if you want to work and you don't have to, okay? Some people just buy our memberships. They travel the world and they save thousands upon thousands of dollars. So I'm going to leave it up to... Veronica to send out some videos and get some information to you guys. But while I'm here, does anybody have any questions? I'll answer anything I can. You good, Rick? Any questions, guys? Thank Igor, you, so you got anything? Uh, well, yes. You 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 mentioned that uh, there are three people in the town I live. Okay. <laughs> uh, how, how about uh, other country? <laughs> Uh, we are in 60, over 60, almost 70, I think now. Okay, around the world. Mm -hmm. I have over 4,000 people on my team. I have one person in Virginia mm -hmm. where I live. Oh, wow. Not in my city, in the entire state. One person. And I met her at a car wash. And I didn't know it at the time, but she was actually, she not was, she is a lawyer. And she works for the attorney general's office in uh, the state of Virginia. So mm -hmm. she did a lot of research on our company <laughs> because she had some credibility. Uh, people look up to her. She couldn't be involved in any kind of, you know, shaky thing whatsoever. Uh, but she went out and did a lot of research. I didn't even know this was happening. She was doing it behind the scenes. So she, she basically, when I talked to her, she said, yeah, this is very interesting. 
Uh, she asked me to call her back that night, talk to her and her husband. And she goes, well, she goes, I, I, I need to do, uh, I need to think about this. Can you give me a couple of days? I said, absolutely. Well, she didn't need to think about it. She was researching and, and looked at the corporate website. She looked at, she tracked me down on Facebook and on Google. And uh, when I talked to her two days later, she told me all this. She goes, just to let you know, she goes, I've done a lot of research not only on the company, but on you. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> so are, are we good? She goes, yeah, I couldn't find anything. There's no subpoenas coming to your door today or anything. So <laughs> uh, we've had a lot of fun, but, you know, and, and she's uh, talking to, to a handful of people. So isn't that strange though? Not one person uh, has uh, in, in the entire state of Virginia, except for one person. Now, here's the other thing. I've never personally brought in anybody that I know. For some unknown reason, even my brother and sister aren't interested in this whatsoever. They still go on vacation, but you know, they that for some unknown reason they enjoy paying full price. But you know, there's an old saying that that success is sweet revenge. So whenever I go on vacation, I always make sure that I send them a text message with a picture, letting them know I'm on vacation again. So <laughs> that's just my way to get back at them. So okay, uh, so. Uh... What actually uh, should be done in order to register the home business? Uh, you mean like a legal thing or how do you get yeah. started? Yeah, well, you said that you can lower your taxes, you can deduct right. yeah. stuff. Okay. And so, so when you when you start with our company, you have a choice of three different memberships, okay? The most expensive, like I said, is $350, okay? Now... That also includes a yearly fee, uh, which we call a partnership. So you're a partner of the company, okay? You don't work for the company. You're not a W-2 wage earner. You are a 1099 employee and you have your own business. So you keep track of all your tax stuff. If you need some help, I can certainly point you in a direction or just buy that book, lower your taxes big time. Mm -hmm. And what happens is when you go to do your taxes, uh, if you do your own taxes and you use like TurboTax or H&R Block Online Tax, there's a section there called Schedule C. And a Schedule C gives you the ability to put in any business expenses, okay? And it'll total them up, okay? And whatever that number is, that is your total write-off for your home business. So let's say you make uh, all together. Okay. I don't know what you do for a living. I don't know if you're still working, but let's say that you made $50,000. And at the end of the year, you had $4,000 in deductions with your travel business. Okay. So you take, what did I say? 4,000? Yeah. So you take 4,000 off the 50 before you were going to pay taxes on $50,000. Now you're going to take $4,000 off the 50 you pay taxes on $46,000, not on the 5,000. That's how that works, okay? And it's something that any tax professional knows, okay? When I show you this book, Lower Your Taxes Big Time, okay? Not mm -hmm. only does he tell you what the deductions are, but he gives you the tax code also. So even your tax professional cannot deny the fact that these are legal and ethical tax deductions. What's the name of the author? It's it's us. Uh, uh, so so it's called Lower Your Taxes Big Time, mm -hmm. and uh, the guy's name is Sandy S A N D Y, and the last name I'll spell it. It's B as in boy, O T as in Tom, K as in kite, I N as in Nancy, Sandy Botkin. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's and the I name. bought this on uh, uh, somebody on my team just bought it the other day. I think she said it was twenty two ten. It's showing twenty four dollars. So, but yeah, it's so I, that, that, that's uh, probably the relative of the famous. Oh, in fact, I'll tell you who bought it. The lawyer. Yeah. yeah, she bought it the other day and called me back. She goes, "Oh, this is unbelievable." So, so that's. Uh, but but actually, do you have to register the company or it's. No. Uh, you work under the umbrella of the corporation. Uh huh. Yeah. And, so uh, they that's care only of... for the most expensive membership. No, every, 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 if you buy, so let's break it down. Let's do a uh, left hand, right hand. Okay. Yeah. Left hand is the travel membership. And you can buy one of three. Okay. 
uh, it's silver, titanium, and platinum. Okay. The most expensive one is platinum. It's 350 bucks out the door. Okay. On the, on the right hand is the partnership. Okay. That is the business side. Okay. Now you can buy one, you can buy both, you can buy, you know, but you have to have a membership if you want to make money. Okay. But so the, the right hand, the partnership is what gives you the replicating website. Okay that tracks all of your income, all of the stuff that you do in business, okay? Uh, a few nights a week, we actually have live presentations. Uh, you know, this wasn't really a presentation. This was just sort of a, a chat, okay? Um, Saturday mornings uh, or Saturday noon here, there's always a, a live training that, that goes on. It's done on Zoom. But it's also done on Facebook Live. If you're not familiar with Facebook Live, it's on Facebook, but it's a video that's on Facebook. So you can literally look at it on Facebook while it is happening. Now, the cool thing about the Facebook Live program is that if you're not able to watch the training, it's recorded. And you can go to Facebook and go to Trevorium, okay, the name of the company, and look at the recorded information. OK, mm -hmm. uh, we have quite quite a few things to to uh, to point you to for information, for directions. And the best part is, is that um, you're on a very fast growing team. There's always somebody to help you. OK, um, so that's what I really liked about it. I'll give you an example. Uh, Todd Strand, which is probably one of the videos that you're going to get. He's the top income earner in a company, personal friend of mine. I've known him forever. Um and if you were to join, okay, uh, you will get his information. We'll probably make an introduction. You can call him and he'll answer the phone or at least call you back and help you. The top guy in the company is going to call you and help you. So that's unheard of. It just doesn't happen. Okay. It's like it's like calling the, the president of your company and saying, hey, I got a question about something. No, no president's going to do that. Yeah. Like I said in the beginning, they Dave does not do anything unless it benefits us first, you know. And I've known Dave a long time, like I've said several times. It's just the way he is. He's always been that way. And when I say I know Dave, um, it's not because, oh, yeah, we've met a few times. I, I've literally had dinner, breakfast, lunch with the guy. I've played golf with him. He, he's a friend. So the downside is, is that he still lives in in. Uh, Temecula, California, Southern California, about an hour's drive north of uh, San Diego, and I live in Virginia now. So, but I used to live five minutes from the corporate headquarters. We also have a corporate office in Madrid, Spain, also. So we're uh, pretty well versed around the world. So, hmm. you know, you mentioned other countries. There's always somebody uh, on the other side of the world that is doing presentations while we're sleeping. I mean, it's, it's sort of funny, but I, I literally make money while I'm sleeping now because I have teams in other countries and it has nothing to do with me. I don't know any of them personally. So, uh, other, other than these ladies that, that, uh, have sort of, uh, taken me under their, their wing to, you know, be part of my team. So, but, uh, yeah, it's, you know what, it's a lot of fun. The leadership is there, the help is there. Um, but if you if you want to save money on travel and you're looking for some fun, you, you just you just stumbled into the diamond mine, my friend. So okay. okay. Appreciate so much. Anybody else? Was it Rick? Rick, yeah, anybody? Rick. Um, I'm just with with the videos. Does it actually show you how to enlist people? On the videos? No, it does not do that. But um, I actually use another uh, uh, site that has nothing to do with Trevorium. And I do a lot of training from that guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually is a multi, multi-million dollar income earner in the industry. He's not in our company, but he has put a training program together for the industry, not for a specific company, for the industry. But on Saturday trainings, okay, um, those are there. Also, when you first get started, um, I, I don't know, Veronica, what you do, but personally what I do is I send people to a specific website that's done by a, a couple named Daryl and Marie Roberts. They're based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. 
And most of the videos that you see are on their training website. So there is a website for you to go to that does have video training, but the corporation does not do it. And here's why. Daryl and Maria offered to do it and they are phenomenal at it. So yeah, their training is, is by far, and remember, I've been in this industry almost 30 years in the networking industry, okay? I've never seen training like what Daryl and Maria have put together. It's it's non-existent. Yeah. And I've been with a handful of companies in the past. So and what's the yeah. it's also it's there for on you. Facebook or I'm sorry? I see them live on Facebook also. That's yeah, and they're yeah, they're live on Facebook also. Yeah. How do I find their training website? It's uh in fact you guys can write this down if you want to. You can go look at it. It's called learn this training dot com learn this training.com and if you will go hold on a second no. so i'll just show you this guys here's that can you see that uh, maybe oh, yeah further away. see that one it says yes that's yeah. one of the leads that i sent out today out of those 200 plus leads that i sent out today I, i've had five people today say yes i want information no. so you know there, there's no perfect way to find people. I just stumbled into something that works for me. I've got another guy that does something completely different, but he's 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 putting a bunch of people in. As soon so, as you hit two star director, which is twenty five and twenty five, it um it um you can then it's willable and heritable. Learn this training dot com. Yep. And you click on documents. Uh -huh. There is a document. It's the only thing there. And if you just open that, it sort of tells you what to look at. And all the videos that it talks about are underneath the sites and events tab. And if you want to take it for a spin, go look at that website. It's got some great videos, some great training, and you can, you know, just sort of learn, you know. Tonight wasn't about having you guys pull out credit cards and let's get you started. Tonight was about giving you a little bit of information, which has really gone, oh my gosh, way too long. Oh no. Uh, but uh, anyway, so anybody have any last uh, minute questions? <clears throat> oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You good? Hi, Gordon, do you have a question or Rick? Yeah. Uh, is there, um, like, I do want to get involved with this. I do want to, I've done a lot of network marketing in the past. I just haven't done it in a long time, quite okay. a few years. But I was an Amway and <laughs> a lot of different. Did that start with an A and end with a Y? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, that was I've my first introduction. Yeah. Anyway. Um, is there a link that you can send people to to actually enroll, go on and that's pay exactly with their credit what cards? Happens. Well, here's what here's what I do. Okay, you can send people the link absolutely, and the link is yeah. uh, www.trevorium.com forward slash, and then you have a ID number. Okay. And so everybody has an ID number. If somebody goes to, and you can, guys can go to this, go to trevorium.com. And Trevorium is spelt, if you want to write this down, T-R-A-V as in Victor, O-R-I-U-M. You can go to the corporate website and there's some information on the corporate website. If you click on join, it pops up with a screen that says no sponsor detected. So nobody can join without your specific ID number. That guarantees okay. that they're going into your business. Now, this is what I do, okay? So Rick, if you were gonna join uh, my team under me directly, this is how it would work. I would uh, get on the internet with you. I would give you my ID number. I would go to the same site and I would walk you through step-by-step. Step. Why? Because we're looking at the exact same screen. I can go through the first three pages after that, I can't see anything because that's where you put in your uh, social security number, your credit card number, all that kind of stuff, okay? But I uh -huh. can be on the phone with you in case you have any questions. And I don't get off the phone with anybody that I personally bring in until it says complete, click here to go to your back office, okay? And then yeah. I have to click there, go to their back office. I'm on my back office. 
I'm going to give you a 10 minute tutorial on the back office and then just turn you loose to go in there and push every button until your heart's content because you can't change okay. anything on our website. Okay. It's okay. all proprietary. Everything is done uh, for you. Okay. And then from there, we just figure out what's your why? What, why are you doing this? Okay. Right. And how can we accomplish that why? Okay. I always tell people everybody's why has a dollar amount attached to it. Okay. It just does. Right. Whether it's sure. bringing the wife home, you're looking for, uh, for me personally, um, I've been in the industry because I wanted to make sure that my retirement was solid. Okay. That, that's why I got into the industry because I knew one thing I didn't want, I didn't want to be in my, my uh, uh, original industry anymore I, I was done i mean I, I say i i say this jokingly but it was no joke i got to the point where i just didn't want to go to work anymore and if yeah. the, and i had an incredible manager yeah. that, that ran my business for me if the dog looked sick i'd stay home so anything i could do not to go to my not to go to my business i was there and so this I is not like work for you uh, pardon me this is not like work for you. Oh, this is I I have a blast. This doing. is this is fun. Even this is this is probably yeah. the yeah. the the most productive thing I do is to get on a call like this and talk to people and try and you know see if we've got something that might be a fit. Okay, and if if it is great, if it's not, you know, at least you know. Okay, uh, the last the, the, one of the things I like most about it is. That it's um, the industry itself is such yes. a, you know, it's it's something that everybody wants. So that's right. You know, if you don't have that, you really don't have a reason for people. Oh, exactly. To, yeah. To want to do it, you know. So. Well, yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. You know, I'll tell you this, and I, and take this for a test drive and see. Okay. When I talk yeah. to people about travel, their whole demeanor changes. People love to go on vacations. Yeah, they and want to do that. Yeah. If you think about Everybody it, does. people start planning for a vacation three months before they take it. And they talk <laughs> right. about it for three months after they get back. People love talking about vacation. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I've been in the travel industry for over 17 years. I've never had anybody say, hey, you know what, Lee, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, we went on a vacation one time and we didn't like it. So I've, I've never had that conversation. So have you ever been yeah. in a binary uh, a pay plan? No, not a binary. Okay. A lot of people have challenges with binaries, but ours is different. Most binaries is, let's say that you had a hundred on one side and a hundred on uh, and uh, 20 on the other side. Well, you would get paid on the 20 and then they take 20 away from the hundred. So you'd have 80 left over. Okay. They're all like that, except ours. We don't, and that's called flushing the volume, okay? We don't flush the volume. So if whatever you have in the biggest leg is great, but you get paid on the smallest leg, but you don't lose anybody in the big leg. And that's so all- So you can go control. as deep as you want too, right? There's, there's no end to the no. compensation plan. No limit. Yeah. yeah, there's no limit. In fact, they just recently released some. This is actually pretty cool. So there was, a, there is a limit on the daily pay of $3,200, okay? But okay. that was on two legs, okay? What they just yeah. recently did was they gave you the opportunity at the ambassador level, which is where you go to Louis Vuitton and buy your scarf, okay? They gave you the opportunity to add a third leg, okay? So that leg, you can actually get that income up to $3,200 a day also. So, I mean, there's people in this company that are making six, a seven-figure income. Nice. And nice. I, know, I know almost all of them. Don't say this out loud to anybody, but they're not that good. <laughs> Yeah, they just got good at telling the story. Okay, that's what I like about our company specifically is that you don't have to be anybody special to be successful. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, especially when you got something that everybody wants. 
Yeah. Well, you'd be surprised. You'd think everybody would want it, but ask my brother and sister. <laughs> they still don't want it, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get even I know, every you know, time I go on vacation. When I was in the other network marketing, yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, they deserve it. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, every time I was in a network marketing company, I told, totally believed in it, but it didn't have to do with travel, which is what everybody wants. You know, had to right, do usually right. with health products or something like that. Yeah. And in my mind, I thought everybody would want this, but, you know, it was a rude awakening that everybody didn't want it or they didn't want to grab a hold of it. Right. Well, you know what? I actually have quite a few people in other companies that have joined my team. And yeah. I got them to think outside their own box because they were so focused on that. And you mentioned yeah. health and nutrition companies. There's a ton of them out there, okay? And God bless them for, for making a pretty good living selling those. Yeah. But my question to them is always, well, you know, all those people that are on your team, they're in the health and nutrition industry. And yeah, they're buying your products and they're probably making some money. But guess what? They all go on vacation and they're paying full price for it. Mm -hmm. And what about the people that say no to you on the health and nutrition? Now you have a backup business. Right. You have yeah. something else to offer those people. And you could phrase it like, hey, right. I, I, I have two businesses. I'm not sure which one you would be interested in. I have health and nutrition and I have travel with free vacations. Which one do you want to talk about? Well, I can tell you which one you're going to go for. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. anyway, it's um, yeah, very interesting to me. Well, I always tell people yeah. like yourself that have been in network marketing before, Rick, all of those companies got you ready for this one. But here's, a... but here's something that's interesting for all of you. Okay. If it wasn't for Amway, we wouldn't be in this business right now. Yeah, yeah. right. That Amway, was the granddaddy. Amway went to court to make network marketing legal. Just yeah. like McDonald's did with franchising. If it wasn't for McDonald's, there'd be no franchises right. today. They're the ones that made it legal and ethical to, to sell franchises. Well, <laughs> that we had, uh, had uh, events at. So he got and he said, "You can stay at that hotel for a dollar." I said, "He said, yeah." He goes, oh. he says, I don't believe it." So I said, "Well, hold on a second." I grabbed my camera, took a, a shot of it, had texted to him right then. He goes, "Oh my gosh." He says, do you know how much it is to stay at that place? And I said, yeah, it's a dollar. <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> yeah. It's 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 very interesting what Dave has put together uh, with Trevorium and the direction that he's going. I mean, think about this, guys, and, and uh, for, for Rick and Igor, our world tours the very first year, we had less than 10. And now we have over 300. And so when you see the, the platform for the world tours, you will be amazed. I mean, a lot of these, they're all four, four and five star resorts. The world tours are uh, probably quite a few of them. You can go for next to nothing. OK, I think the most expensive one I've ever seen is maybe three hundred ninety nine dollars for like five or six nights at a five star resort that includes uh, everything, you know, an, an all-inclusive resort for, for $400 for a week uh, for two people. So, I mean, I, I uh, you know, um, what you call it, um, Daryl is always saying, one of the top leaders, uh, that website I gave you, learn this training, that's he and his wife's uh, site. He says, he says, it's getting to the point for us. He says, it's cheaper for us to go on vacation than it is to stay home. <laughs> so, he says, we just turn all the lights off, turn the water off, the gas off. So, so he was with our company for two years. And he was just tra traveling using the, the free sites and the discounts and all that kind of stuff. Well, he got he he went to an event like one of the world tours and saw what was happening and what possibilities were, even though he looked at the videos and he read the information when he went to an event is when the light bulb went off six within four months. He quit his job because he in four months he had matched what he was making as a nurse. Remember, he went from zero to making what he was making at work in four months. Two months later, he and his wife left Canada and didn't go home for 18 months. 
because they were traveling on Trevorium's dime. Okay. 